Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. So today I'm here with the interview questions on different companies. So my colleagues has gone through multiple interviews like uh, different companies like Capgemini and KPIT and Xidadel, uh, Mercedes Benz, Daimler and all. So uh, from them, I took few inputs and what are all the questions they had asked during the interviews and all. So I'm trying to gather it so that uh, these what are the questions I'm collecting. So these will help you guys to prepare on these all these interviews in future. OK, so here I'll be just dealing with the capture many interview process. So what are all the questions has been asked? But can you note that what are the questions are here? Uh, it might change depending upon the, the managers or the hiring technical manager who will be or who might be in future. So, uh, but in any of the interviews, uh, depending upon the tools, they will ask the uh, relevant questions only, I believe. Okay. So let's start with this here. So we could see uh, the first question they will ask you is to introduce yourself. So if you're going to introduce yourself, you should introduce your skills your tools your past experience okay and the tools you have used properly everything and the analysis what and all you have done so these all the things you try to uh, showcase okay uh, once you introduce yourself they should feel that you know uh, most of the things like the tools you know like these all the kinds of analysis you know explicit or implicit or thermal cft or whatever it is so in this process uh they were mainly looking for Abacus, Hypermesh, and Nastrin. So if you know about Abacus more, you concentrate on Abacus. If you know about the Hypermesh, concentrate on Hypermesh and try to explain about that particular tool and analysis done on that particular software. Okay, you should be proficient in it. So once you introduce yourself, so uh, let's say, uh, for example, start with your family background. Let's say uh, myself. Girish and uh, in my family there are uh, four members mom dad brother and myself so dad is a common servant mom housewife brother is also an engineer i'm also an engineer so explain about your educational background so let's say you have done the engineering in dash dash year and ptu university and your aggregate score and then explain about your project what exactly how done. so mine says cft analysis so cft analysis on pwb aircraft with high lift devices so if they are looking for the cft analysis try to explain it or else you can just tell them that so this is related to cft if you are um, looking for the explanation i can explain it later okay and then you can switch to your career background start with your first job explain it properly so mine's for scan center uh, that was the advantage for me, so I could able to input all the softwares which I know I had learned, like starting from the SolidWorks, Katia, Creo, Unigraphics, Annex, Siemens, uh, Nastrin Pattern, Abacus, Ansys, Hypermesh, Fusion 360, Autodesk, Inventor. So try, I had already patched up all the softwares that because the CAD Central is the learning hub, so even though I didn't no more softwares but i could able to add up all the softwares there so analysis let's say uh you already you only know about their backers you don't know about the hypermesh and the nastran so you can add up the things there like this analysis how done there so nastran so there are some solvers like uh sol1 101 103 105 106 these are the static analysis model analysis and the buckling analysis so the basic you can just go through and you can try to conduct the analysis later on and you can try to add up these things so like that i could able to explain uh, my uh, cat center uh, training and the um, kind of small projects and all i could able to add over there so after that you can start with your other things low so i had worked with the uh, dash dash companies future on so add up these things the analysis which you know you have carried out okay mention everything and finally wind up yourself okay and then they'll ask the questions related to your experience let's say you have specified the durability analysis so you have specified more on abacus so i did the 
fatigue, durability analysis on abacus. Okay, so what they will do is they will directly ask about the abacus. Okay, so let's say the next question here is the what is the degrees of freedom for the solid and shell elements? This is the main question that I had asked. Okay, you need to just cross check for degrees of freedom for solid, it is three, three translations. In here, self, it is six degrees of freedom. Exceptional cases five plus one. Remember, okay, five degrees of freedom plus one. So next one, it is how do we conduct the durability analysis in Abacus? So try to do the analysis using the Abacus. What exactly the steps are? Okay, one by one process. So what and all the results you're gonna get it. Okay, so try to do it and explain the same thing. Hmm? And next thing is the what are the output files we get in Abacus? So dot odb file and other formats. Okay, in that one and all you wanna get uh, messages, warning messages, right? The input uh, data and the output data and all. So uh, there are uh, multiple uh, output files you wanna get it. So research about it properly. So what and all the file extensions explain that. The next question is how do we evaluate our inputs whether they are correct or wrong okay whatever the input constraints you are given the loading conditions you are given so how are we gonna evaluate so simple question is what output file you're gonna just check to evaluate these things remember that hmm? so cross check this and try to answer for this so i'd covered the answers in the all the uh, interview questions tutorials in the previous sessions as well so you can refer that things to just go through these all the answers so I'm just a shortening up the things here. Explain the step-by-step -step process we follow to conduct the static analysis in a backus. So very important question. Try to mug it up and try to explain it in a better way. What are the fastness types used in a backus? So multiple fastness, okay. So you wanna use the uh, single point fastness and there are multiples on there so try to uh, take up more about this abacus fastness types next question they had asked is the what are the preliminary mesh checks we do to evaluate the mesh quality this QNS okay and then the aspect ratio Jacobian points and Jacobian ratio so these things you need to cross check so next question is what are the mesh element types you use in abacus so so they will ask you the specific questions on this so what is shell elements so what are all the types we use in shell elements we consider only s6 s8 okay what are the quadratic elements first order second order everything they will ask okay and when it comes to element types the namings security then in the sense what it is so try to check each and everything how do we read the elements they have access so very important question so they will ask this one what are all the tools you are used? Okay, so they will ask about this. So backers, NAST, and these things, pre-processing, post-processing tools, and all. Okay, how do uh how do we carry out the crack propagation in backers? So, so as I had explained this durability analysis, they had asked about this crack propagation as well. So I try to carry out few analysis on the crack propagation as well. So next question. What and all the analysis you have carried out till the date? So they will ask all the kinds of analysis you have carried out. So try to recall each and every analysis you have done. So next thing, have you done composite analysis? That asked. So if you have done, you can say yes. If you haven't, just say no. So finally, they will ask you the last question. Do you have any questions? So try to impress yourself in this particular question. So if you haven't answered a few questions, you can just uh, state the same thing that I haven't answered these questions, but definitely I'll go through the uh, questions again and I'll uh, try to get the answers for these things. Okay. Yep. So that's all about this uh, Capgemini interview process. So these are the questions they had asked during the technical interview. So. In the next sessions, I'll be covering uh, more uh, technical interviews on different companies. So stay tuned. Okay, that's all about the session. Thank you guys. Stay tuned. Bye everyone.